Hello, I'm Rob Gardner from Rob Gardner Professional Decorators, and today we're going to be talking about some waxing. I'm going to show you how we get from this to this using some Liberon Fine Paste Wax. Now, Liberon do a massive range of different wood finishes, everything from wax to um, varnishes and different stains and oils. But as I said, we're using the, the wax today, and this comes in a massive range of colours, including neutral, clear, medium oak, dark oak, Tudor, antique pine, walnut, teak, Victorian mahogany, Georgian mahogany, and medium mahogany. Now, as well as, the, as, well as these colours, if you wanted to make the piece of furniture or the wood that you're waxing a little bit darker, you could apply more than just the one coat. You could apply two coats, three coats, or even more. Or you could use some wire wool. Now, using the wire wool, um, it would penetrate into the grain a little bit further and therefore would give a, a richer and darker covering. So as you can see, I'm using it by dipping it into the wax itself. I'm just using a, uh, a clean cloth rolled up and then I'm applying small circles and then I'm laying it off in the direction of the grain. Now this is really, really important because it then gives the most natural uh, and realistic finish. If you start going across the grain, um, after a few different coats, it will start to build up and it, it will just look wrong. It won't look very effective. So ensure that you always follow the grain. Now it's quite easy just to put it on too, too thick, too much. So be careful, you've got to concentrate on what you're doing and ensure that you get it in all the little nooks and crannies because as, as on this door, it's a brand new pine door and we're going to make it a lot darker. If you don't get into all the little areas, it's just going to look rubbish. So do spend your time on it and make it look as good as possible. Now I should point out that before you apply any wax, it's really important that you remove any old wax and oils and paints and dust and dirt. Now you can do this, Liberon supply a a really high quality wax remover so if there is previous wax on there I suggest you get that and get any old wax off first. So as you can see I'm using the circle motions and laying it off in the same direction as the grain. So I'm not going to show you the whole door but it's the same process whether you're doing it to a new door a previously um, wax door, um, if you're using it on skirting boards or uh, door frames or windows, window sills or spindles, handrails or even on floors, um, the same process would be the same where you apply the wax um, in the circular motion, lay it off in the grain. And then what we're going to come on to now is actually then polishing it off. So we're going to get a nice new clean cloth, um, we're going to use this then to what's called polishing it off so you're rubbing over the wax now you need to wait at least 20 minutes or at least until the wax has dried before you do this else it's just going to make a complete mess so ensure that the wax is dry and then just run over it with your clean cloth and you'll see as i'm doing that it's removing some of the excess wax and it's making it a lot shinier now if you wanted to make the wood darker you can continue this process or extra, extra protection you could continue it as well So that's waxing. It's really simple. If you've got any questions, please feel free to contact me. This is Rob Gardner from Rob Gardner Professional Decorators. Thank you.